Hello, everyone. It's the Spotlight Live. Look, I'm, I'm back. Took a little break, a couple of weeks. We had Raw Code, we had a bunch of people, had some awesome shows together. I am here with probably the cutest puppy, and to me, the cutest project out there, GRPC. I have today on Spotlight Live, we have April Kyle Nasi. She's an open source strategist and program manager for Google. We're talking GRPC. We're talking puppies. We're having a lot of fun. Spotlight Live starts now. So now before I put bring in April, I have to you know take care of some uh, you know some of the some business here. So CNCF disclaimer. This is an official live stream of the CNCF and as such is subject to the CNCF code of conduct. Please do not add anything to the chat or questions that be in violation of the code of conduct. Basically, be respectful of one another. I want to welcome April to the show. Welcome April. Hello. Hi. All right. Think, Go ahead. I'm here for puppy talk. Anything about puppies, dogs. We can just forget the open source stuff. Just yeah, yeah. We should just talk puppies. I'm serious. Like, <laughs> that, that should, you know, but um, folks, hey, look, this is an interactive show. Again, everything that we do in Cloud Native TV is, is interactive. It's only as good as the folks that are you know involved in, in joining and having fun. So um, I want to kind of kick us off. But if you all have questions, please feel free to ask us questions in chat. Don't be shy. Uh, Rich Burroughs, I know you're out there. Start asking some questions. All right. Um, so. Let's talk about GRPC. Let's talk about the project background. Like, how did it start? Give me, give me, give me the start, the beginnings. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So, if you're at all familiar with Google and our internal infrastructure, which I don't expect that necessarily everyone is, um, we had a um, internal RFC infrastructure that was called Stubby, and it had been in use for over a decade. And it was decided to kind of rework it and take advantages of things like HTTP2 and to also decouple it from some of our internal infrastructure. And we wanted to make it open source and we wanted to build something that would become like the standard for, you know, RFC server communication. Um, and so that was that was how it started. Um, it had a lot of goals. Um, it's been going. Pancakes just had a birthday four, five years. Oh, I should know better. Sorry. Um, however many candles were on the last cake. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so we open sourced it and uh, it's been been going strong for a few years, heavily used internally, of course, at Google. And then um, a lot of, you know, big names, CNCF customers, of course, are using. And I forget which number grpc was to cncf but it was definitely one of the earlier projects um so it's grpc has been there for a while incubator project much like falco we interpret we use a lot of the grp stuff grpc stuff in there and it's 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 awesome it's a great great tool so let me ask you this again what was the original problem we were trying to solve with grpc um i mean you know we had we had the tooling already ourselves um it was let's redo this to make it you know work better for not only our internal use but then also make it an open source project that then anyone can use um you know one of the things that we say is like if you want to run your business at google scale or run it the way that google does um this is this is the way to to do it you know use the tools that we're actually using um and there was definitely this desire to have it be, you know, the actual standard across the industry. So not just something that, you know, was exclusive to our own infrastructure. So. And bringing that to the masses, like that's the whole open source thing. And, and I think, you know, there's been so many projects coming out of Google, obviously Kubernetes being one of them. Right. And yeah. how I heard, you, heard, you heard of yeah. them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so like in terms of like, like the early stages of getting in folks' hands. When were you like, hey, this is this is, you know, this is gaining a ton of traction. People are using this for ways that we didn't even think about. You know, so Yeah, you know, it's interesting. Um one of the things that like, you know, and I know we'll we'll talk about our little puppy friend later, but one of the things that 
you know, kind of led to needing something cute. It was like RPCs are, you know, RPCs are boring, right? Like it's not, <laughs> it's not some, it's no Falco, you know, like it's not some sort of revolutionary fancy technology. Um, so, you know, it, it wasn't um, necessarily this, you know, super, you know, buzz, buzzword thing that everyone was going to glom onto. Um, we did have, you know, some early adopters like um, Core. It was, um, sorry, I'm trying to think of the, the first, the first folks that were using it was like, there was universities and um, we also had, um, you know, some of the, the, you know, I can't name everyone, but uh, some of the big names that you might know, like Netflix, for instance, is, um, you know, using uh, GRPC, Juniper, Cisco, Cockroach Labs was also one of the first ones. So, um, you know, we definitely was kind of having those conversations with other companies and projects that were doing similar things and, and kind of how can we help build out their need. Um, and th those were the folks that were there at the start, CoreOS. Um, and so as we've gone on, um, you know, several years, one of the other things that I think is kind of unique to gRPC is that it's in, I, I can't even count right now how many different language implementations there are. Um, so we're a little different um, than, you know, kind of um, when you think of the projects that like something like, you know, a Kubernetes, for instance, you've got one big bulk of code. So when we talk about like maintainers and things like that, you know, it's focused on one project. But with uh, gRPC, there's like six or seven that we are officially supporting. And then we absolutely encourage the community to make their own language implementations for uh, gRPC as well. So that's kind of how um, there's a Rust implementation out there. Microsoft did .NET. Um, Apple's been working on the Swift implementation. So you can do it with a lot of different uh, languages, which I think is um, really unique and, and part of why we did it the way we did. Got it. And I mean, there was a question you know, about like, um... Here, I can just put this here. I think it's more of a statement, I guess, but like it's more of, in my experience, GRP's uptake has been incredibly slow, which is a shame. But one thing here is, um, and we can all read that, right? It's nice that GRP's oh, yeah. has been bit, right? And, and I, you know, I've seen that as well. I mean, it's it's really kind of kind of cool, but maybe you can elaborate more further about like those integration points. Yeah, and I'm, you know, full disclaimer, not a developer myself, so I can't tell you um, the full ins and outs of gRPC web and the, the coding that's going on. Um, but I think that's that's definitely something that is kind of a good and bad thing about having so many different uh, language implementations is, you know, kind of spreading your, your maintainers across the board. Um, gRPC, gRPC web, um, was one of those things that you know a lot of people were asking for um for a long time i think it was kubecon austin was <laughs> when we were able to say like it's coming um so it's still you know i don't want to be the um the standard of uh you know prs accepted but <laughs> we you know have the implementation and you know certainly working on it and honestly one of the things that we need probably the most of all from people is just that feedback of the use cases. Because again, we know what we're using gRPC for, and we know what a lot of, you know, kind of the, the key or big end users are using it for. But we love to hear from, you know, regular folks. Um, it's not all enterprises that are using gRPC. In fact, um, when we had KubeCom Austin, we had, um, I forget his name, but there was a gentleman who, was telling us about like he was using gRPC to relay uh, weather data from like the weather, um, you know, station he had outside of his house and like, you know, just pulled up the laptop there in the, the session and was kind of showing us how we were doing, how he was doing it. And it was really cool because that's not something that, you know, we are typically thinking of when we think of someone using gRPC. We don't think about the little, you know, hobby projects normally. Uh, so that's the kind of stuff that like, it's really great, you know, and you're mentioning, you know, talking about Rust knowledge. Um, I know Rust is, of course, becoming uh, much more widely used. And so there is an implementation the out hotness, there. The hotness, EBPF, Rust, Wasm. All the, the cool kids are doing it is what I hear. 
<laughs> so um, there is an implementation out there. It's in, um, yeah, in Tonic. And it is, um, we have in gRPC, there's like three different repos, I mean, that we use. There's the main one, which has all the languages. There's also an ecosystem, which is where some of those third party projects and then other projects that kind of add on or extend to gRPC live. Um, so I think that uh, some of the Rust stuff lives in there. And um, by all means, check it out, play around with it. Um, you know, the people who are working on that and maintaining it, of course, you know, want feedback. Um, and a lot of it is, you know, let's figure out what folks are actually using and needing. And then that helps everybody, all the maintainers figure out, you know, what to do next. So I'm going to go on a little open source soapbox right here. And, and again, I'm not going to put you on the spot. Oh, six Kelly okay. Jack, but I'm going to, I'm going to say this in general, if you're seeing things like, you know, performance or integration issues and all of those things, like this is the beauty of open source. You can help to contribute until the, you know, you have direct access through open source to be able to do that. Again, I mentioned Falco, but like, you know, th those are things where we've make the, pro we make the projects better that way. Um, and, and I'm sure the GRPC, you know, others that are out there. It's just, that's that's the thing that is is awesome about it, is having that community be able to do that. You don't have that in other communities. You don't have that in closed source t technologies, right? So this is really useful feedback that we're seeing here. Love to see in the, in the GRPC community doing stuff there as well, right? So, all right. Yeah, I was gonna say, Kelly Jack, I think I have an issue assigned to me right now about our Rust documentation on the website. So I might, you know, <laughs> might ping you for some help there. Um, yeah. So he's got a PR uh, or her. I'm sorry. I don't know if this is a, a yes. they. I yeah. guess they. I've got a PR I need to submit to, to here. So great. Love seeing this. Yeah. And we got it live. We have you documented here. Let's make this now happen. That's yeah. it. Let's make it rain. So um, I want to go. Don't make pancakes this. cry. You know, you can't forget it. So, <laughs> so we're going to get into pancakes in a second. I've been purposely holding the star of the show since whatever. And by the way, if you looked at the graphic about, I put the uh, amazing graphic, by the way. Oh, Thank yeah. you so much for doing that. So very cool. So if somebody wants to get involved in gRPC, can you kind of give them a, you know, a TLDR? Yeah. Um, jump in. The water's fine, basically. Um, we have we have monthly community meetings. Um, one of the things that we did uh, a few months ago for the gRPC birthday this year was kind of, you know, draw out some of the folks that have cool demos and things that they want to share that they've been building with gRPC. Um, always welcome any type of presentation or even just, you know, coming and showing the cool stuff you're building. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. Um, I think documentation is the number one thing that uh, the former, uh, one of the former gRPC uh, product managers that was here, he and I would routinely, uh, you know, go speak to people and be like, yes, we know documentation is terrible. <laughs> and just kind of constantly uh, apologize for that. Uh, we were fortunate to get some time with a tech writer that CNCF uh, provided to the project. Um, gosh, was it late last year? Time no longer has meaning. Um, so we definitely made a lot of improvements in the website and a lot of improvements in documentation overall. But ultimately, it's people who are trying to use it, trying to figure out how to make a contribution, things like that that that's where we figure out what needs to be fixed. So please don't be shy. You know, if you are trying to do something with the documentation, trying to go through a quick start or whatever, and it doesn't make sense, or you run into a blocker, please file an issue and tell us, because we're happy to fix it. We just don't know. Um, so that's our number one ask usually is, tell us what's broke and we will fix it. Um, we just have to know. We have a lot of open issues. Um, because we are, we do not auto close. Um, we frequently have discussions about that in our uh, project meetings, but uh, there's a lot of open issues still. So of course, there's plenty of things that folks can jump in and help out with. Um, but a lot of it also is even just if it's something that you also experience an issue with or wish there was a feature, let us know. Um, the features are done in gRPC via a process that I always mix up RFCs because we like to make it as confusing as possible. Um, so we have GRFCs to put in a new feature into GRPC. Um, and the GRFCs live in their own uh, repo as well. So they're relatively easy to find. Please read through those. And again, you don't have to code anything, but just tell us if you're a user or a potential user, 
hey, this would work for me or this wouldn't, you know, we, that's those getting those use cases is really the biggest, um, you know, easy contribution anyone can make. No code required. Just tell us how to use it. So. Fantastic. All right. Yeah. So we have, a, we got involved. We figured these things. Let me, let me ask you this question here. <laughs> um, what are some things you would have done uh, uh, as a project you would have done different? Um, you know, I wasn't there at the very beginning. So I can't speak from day one, um, but I can speak from my day one, um, which at this point I've been at Google for four and a half years. So I guess I came not too long after GRPC was born. Um, I think one of the things that I, you know, looking now going back to, and one of the things I was excited about to work on with GRPC was the fact that it was this large project with a really large community um, that needed a lot of structure and you know it was kind of the chance to get in and set up the framework for growing the community and, and getting you know the organization for the project going um priorities being what they are and and you know things shifting i didn't get to do as much of that yet as i would have liked to um in the process of working on it now um you know uh a lot of it i think you see like we've been uh we've had an open application for graduation with cncf for a year and a half two years now it's been a while um and a lot of the feedback came around parts of like governance that just weren't clear and you know i kind of that's like one of those things that yeah, we, we can make that better and we should do that and should have done that. Um, so that would be really my big thing is like just from the very beginning, making it very clear, you know, those steps of how to get involved and, you know, um, the different processes that we do have. Because it is kind of, you know, different from some open source projects because this is something that, you know, we are using internally. It's part of our infrastructure. So there's that natural kind of conflict that comes up sometimes with specific, you know, feature requests. Like we're, there are going to be times where, and there have been times where we will have a fundamental disagreement on, you know, the way something should be architect. Um, and that's okay. Um, but, you know, ultimately, um, you know, I, I definitely would have been better about that from the beginning of kind of acknowledging that that was always gonna be there. Um, and making it really, you know, clear with folks and, you know, putting the, making sure that people understood the processes and the ways that they could, you know, communicate and make their own proposals and things like that. Hopefully that made sense. Oh, it makes complete sense. And if you think about it, you know, Google contribute is contributing people to be able yeah. to like make this happen. And, yeah. you know, that's, you know, and if you hear things of contributor diversity and all of those types of things, it's like, look, I mean, you're, you're still assigning people to do open source and that's mm -hmm. making putting technology in people's hands for them to also contribute. Right. Yeah. So that yeah. shouldn't be, that shouldn't be frowned upon. What I think it should be is this more of, more of the, the guiding light, right. The guiding hand to be able to like, get other people involved in specific projects and all of that. So, you yeah. know, I understand if it's just one, you know, Ben, you know, someone vendor doing and saying, look, this is really like a marketing aspect of something. Right. But right. the reality is, is we're guiding hands to project to, to folks contributing to the various yeah. projects out there like GRPC, like Falco and all of those. So, I mean, again, it's, it's, it's something I, I think when you do it right and you have a community that's pushing for all of these things, it's such a beautiful thing. And I, you know, I looked yeah. at your, you know, Docker polls and all the people that are, you know, your adoption is incredible. It's like a hundred million people, yeah. you know, yeah. you know, it's, it's incredible. Right. Yeah, I'm, 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 we're happy right? we're at 30 at this point. Right. So it's just like, you know, so it's, it's definitely a good thing. So, I, okay, listen, we, we got the business out of the way. All right. We, <laughs> well, the, wait, before, before we get into the, the star of the show, Yes. any, any plugs, anything you want to talk about? Oh yes. Um, I asked the team, uh, what they would like to plug. So I, I, the one thing I, we always have this with like the CNCF folks of like, what's coming up, what can we highlight at a conference? And it's like, well, we have releases every six weeks. So we don't really get to do like the big release, um, but I will call out a couple of things about releases. Um, obviously, you know, the project is GRPC. You think you know what that G stands for. You don't. Um, it actually changes every release. So um, we have a, a file in the, the GitHub org of like what each one has been named and whoever is the release manager for that particular release gets to pick what the G stands for. Um, I am curious to see at what point we will run out of G words. 
Um, I keep pushing for like, you know, specific ones at Halloween, but I don't, I don't get to pick. So, uh, <laughs> although okay, can we, I asked some, what are some past G's? Like, so we can kind of go through a couple of those that you, if you remember it. Great. I mean, there's some of them are easy. Great. You know, um, a lot of times they're trying, I'm trying to find the list now. A lot of times they will pick, um, just like, it's almost like somebody opened up a dictionary and, you know, pulled regular, pulled weird things. Um, the lot, we've had a gummy bear giggle green gets. So wait, it can be complex. It can be complex. Wait, hold on. So it can be um, like complex words and common, like, so it can be yeah. sentences. All right. So could it be Game of Thrones? No? Game of Thrones? Could be. We do have, yeah. um, one of them was Guadalupe River Park Conservancy, which is also a GRPC. And that's a park here in San Jose. Um, that's awesome. So like when we vol when the team does like volunteer stuff, we'll do it at their park because, I mean, how can you not? The names match up. <laughs> um, so yeah, it does change every time. Um, there are some that I don't, like the names are yeah but the first one the 1.0 the g stood for grpc because <laughs> we're very very imaginative <laughs> yeah that's great and um let me let me ask you this um when is the godfather release because i want to i want to do some contributions to that right right yeah. i'll have yeah. to make i'll let the team know we've had a request for that um <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, so you did ask about upcoming things. I apologize, I got distracted with fun stuff. Um, this so, is a live stream. We go, we'll go everywhere if you want. So don't worry. So um, one of the things is in the up. Oh, so we're about to have one point four zero, and so uh, in the one point four zero release, C Core will finally have basic configurable retry support, um, and of course the. Uh, uh, lead maintainer said, you know, it still doesn't include transparent retries, but that will be later this quarter. And he added, and it doesn't yet include hedging and some restrictions apply. Void were prohibited by law. Uh, <laughs> so we have fun. Uh, but uh, that's the the new big one that uh, he wanted to highlight for C-Core. And then just overall, I mean, there's a lot of new functionality being put around, put in around microservices and all, because, you know, everybody's all about microservices these days. So. Have lots I've, of, uh, I've, I've heard of them. I heard yeah, of them. I think it's. I Impassive. think they're going to be a thing. It's weird. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. Somebody. Somebody said that they put together a hello world with gRPC client and server, which is great. Awesome. That's you cool. Know, thanks for getting started. That's pretty yeah. amazing. Yeah. So all pancakes right. Are there we go. Pancakes. Let's talk about pancakes. I want to know the, the origin of pancakes. Give me the whole. Get every, our audience that story. I want to know. We all want to know. It's, I mean, it's kind of like when I take the dogs to my in-laws. It's like, I know you just want to see the dog. It's fine. You know, it's not about us anymore. Um, so yeah, RPC, not exciting, really not cool. Not something that people are like, Oh, I love it. It's so cute and cuddly. Um, so we had for a long time been talking about, you know, you look at like the go gopher and the amazing success that they've had with that. And everybody loves the gopher. Um, we were, you know, kind of talking on the team of like, we need a, we need a mascot. We need a cute animal. So in much the same way as we do for releases, we were like, all right, what animal starts with G and could potentially like, you know, make it fit, like that makes sense for using it. And, and also be cuddly because some of the suggestions were like, you know, weird dinosaur things and you know that like you only find in encyclopedias and i'm like that's not no one wants to cuddle that that's not cute um and so we've been talking about it it wasn't like a real thing it was kind of like yeah we need to do this and then one day i went to lunch with eric anderson who is the lead maintainer on a lot of our java um and we went to lunch and we were talking It's one of those things where like, you're talking about something and just all of the pieces just fall into place. Um, but it, I decided, I, you know, had the realization of like a golden retriever GR. And then, you know, who doesn't love dogs? Obviously I'm a crazy dog lady, but like who doesn't love a dog? And then through the process of Eric, Eric and I kind of ripping on names, it hit of like, pancakes pc and thus pancakes was born uh and we actually had you know some initial design work done he was 
very cute, cuddly, but we just kind of, we were at the process at the same time changing the GRPC logo with CNCF. Their designers were working on that. And I think it was just at that time, like nobody really had an appetite to <laughs> completely launch out the mascot. Um, but what we did was um, we basically one year kind of forgot about GRPC's birthday. And I did a blog post where I was like, hey, we got you a puppy. <laughs> Sorry, we feel bad. We forgot your birthday, but we got you a puppy. <laughs> and it also timed with we did our first GRPC conference that year. Um, so that was like, what, 2019? Um, and as part of the conference, we had golden retrievers brought in. So we were able to kind of tie everything together. Of like, here's our new mascot and here's our conference. And here's golden retrievers that came in during, that was like the break for the conference. Everybody's on the floor petting golden retrievers. There's an organization in the Bay area that, um, you know, raises them as seeing eye dogs. And a lot of them are retired and this is what they do is they do kind of advocacy work. So that was just like, how can you not love any excuse for, you know, dogs at a conference? Um, we have a lot of fun with it. We had, uh, we have little, like, for instance, there's a little pancakes keychain. Let's talk about that. Let me talk about that real quick because, like, I talked to a couple of people on my on our marketing team, right, and 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 Cystic, and they were like, "Oh, you're talking to the puppy people today." It was like, it was like, it was, it was like, yeah, they were laughing this so much. It was like, it was like that because the keychains. There were everyone at the conference was like, "Oh, we got this really cute keychains," and so it's like. Now I can tell them the whole story. Like we can, you all can watch this now. You can understand where the GRPC comes, the 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 yeah. what Pancake's name comes from. Fantastic. Yeah. I I always tell Eric that he is the godfather for pancakes because it was very much that like you know like when you are a developer and you're the rubber duck, you know, you're just talking to to try to make the brain work. Like Eric was my rubber duck basically, <laughs> um, and. Not only do we do the, uh, you know, obviously we have keychains, we have plush as well for our first conference, which I think there's a few of them that have been living alone in one of the, in our Sunnyvale building at my desk for the past year. So hopefully it's not like Lord of the Flies in my desk when I get back with a bunch of pancakes. Um, <laughs> but we had plush for the conference and We've got, you know, the the keychains. And then really the big thing is every just kind of like what we did with today for the, you know, uh, cloud native TV and for any sort of event that we go to. Like I don't actually I no, I don't have one from but um our last in person KubeCon in San Diego, Pancakes was surfing. We have an amazing uh, sticker vendor that we use in Portland that uh, called sticker ninja i'll plug them um they had a really great like holographic so it's like you know this holographic pancakes is surfing and he's got the you know cncf kubecon flag um in his hands and we also did one for ozcon there's a pancakes of him you know with like the portland t-shirt we try to put most of them up on the github repo so if you go into github um for GRPC, and I'm trying to pull it up so I can give you the proper um, repo name, but it's in the community um, repo, and there's a folder of pancakes designs. Uh, and we have some of them from, there's the basic ones of like, he's got his ball cap on, he's got a, you know, he's holding a ball, um, he's got a stick, you know. <laughs> um, the other one that's really fun is if another part of, um, you know, with GRPC having uh, using protobuf and, and proto um, someone on Twitter had said uh, they had done a tweet of like why did they call it grpc they should have called it to pro protoc and serve and so we have a we made a it's like pancakes with a badge um, and so that's kind of an example of like you know fun stuff that the community has done or has the idea pancakes is there for it um so um i don't know if you want to you know we might have some cool pancakes and falco stuff coming um Appreciate spotify that, yeah. spotify um at kubecon was it copenhagen um when they did their presentation about their use of grpc so we did a special spotify pancakes 
Um, and it's, I, I saw on, I think they have it on some of their presentation stuff, but it's basically, um, it's pancakes with, he's wearing headphones and he's got their logo. And apparently internally the Spotify in Spotify, the Spotify Kubernetes team was really jealous of the GRPC team because they had their own special pancakes. So, um, you know, anytime you can be somehow cooler than Kubernetes, I consider that to be a win. So uh, we definitely have a lot of fun with it. It is definitely, you know, it's something that we, similar to the Go Gopher, like anyone's, you know, if you're artistically minded and want to try to draw pancakes, you know, hanging out with your project mascot or having fun, you know, at whatever the next, uh, I guess we're going back to LA this year. So I haven't quite, well, it's probably going to be Hollywood themed, let's be honest. Um, but whatever, you know, location, um, we are happy to have pancakes come and, and join and, you're welcome to, uh, you know, do the same just like you do with a gopher. Awesome. Well, I'll yeah. tell you that. Tell you this. We got Kelly Jack. You bet you're going to get some stickers. All right. You're doing a hell of a job yeah, with absolutely. You know, GRPC web stuff. I mean, all across the board, Nick's packages. I, it's it's phenomenal. Yeah. So I got to do a couple of plugs. Okay, you mind hanging out for a little while? I do a couple of, of plugs. All right. So first off, before we go, uh, uh, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to, I'm going to, we're going to talk for a couple of seconds here. Um, lastly, I want you, is there anything you want to say to the community right now in general before, before I do a couple of plugs? Oh my gosh. Um, thanks for being awesome and being there. Um, we do have amazing, you know, the, the people that are using GRBC are always, it just like we see here, it's like, you know, they're just trying and trying to get it work and then, you know, throwing in, uh, contribution. So it's been, it's, it's been a great bunch of folks and it's one of my favorite, you know, communities and projects to work with. So thanks. Awesome. Yeah. So thanks for being on and hang out here. I'd love to, you know, have you hang out for this real quick. So um, everyone, by the way, follow, if you haven't already, follow Cloud Native TV. Um, it really helps the show for, you know, Twitch. If you're watching us on the replay, hit that follow above. All right. It really helps um, not only us, but it helps all the projects involved that are, you know, getting more projects on here and all of that. So you all know about KubeCon. I'm sure that uh, Pancakes is going to make an amazing appearance in LA with like, you know, I'm assuming, I don't know, a tux or a ball gown. We'll have to figure that all out. Uh, registration for Cuban and Cloud Native Con North America is open, um, and everyone, uh, there's a link, and I also put it in the chat. I'll put it in the chat as well. Um, so, you know, check it out. I'll be there, God willing. Um, I'm sure April will be here, God willing. All of the, 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 the who's who of in the Cloud Native space. Also, you're going to see a bunch of amazing um, talks, um, amazing, you know, just everything about it, just being together again, I, I'm so excited for it. So please, you know, go and check that out. Um, Lastly, uh, as well as in the cloud native TV, like we have stickers and swag now, which is incredible. Uh, it's really cool. So you'll there's a starter kit there as well. We'll be giving some of them out in a couple of weeks. Um, the road to KubeCon, the summer, letting everybody relax. But we're gonna we start giving out some of some cool stuff. So um, again, uh, thanks for that. So that's pretty much my spiel. April, uh, I appreciate you and GRPC and Pancakes for being on the show this week. Um, and remember, thank you for having us. Yeah, it's, it was lovely having you. So, and remember community, the spotlight is always on you.